Peter, obviously one of the hits of the show has to be the X2. Um, I don't think anybody really expected you to interrupt a test program or at least an evaluation program at this point to bring it out here for everybody to see. But let's face it, you are a crowd stopper. Let's talk about X2. What are you trying to do with this thing? The X2 technology demonstrator is, just as its name suggests, it is an engineering asset. We conceived it and designed it and built it for the purpose of demonstrating that this suite of integrated technologies we're calling X2 technology will enable an aircraft to retain all the low speed handling characteristics that we enjoy in helicopters today, but allow that helicopter to break the traditional paradigm of hover efficiency versus speed. This aircraft is designed to cruise at 250 knots and do that with low vibration. And it has dash speeds, again design-wise, of over 270 knots. We feel very good about the integration of the very rigid coaxial, kind of rotating rotors, the advanced hub drag reduction, the active vibration control, the fly-by-wire system, and the seamlessly integrated auxiliary propulsion coming together to enable this kind of performance. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. This is an aircraft that borrows an awful lot from a number of uh, Sikorsky and even Schweitzer technologies. Um, it seems like the best and the brightest of the company all came together into one aircraft. Where do you really see this going? I mean, is this more of a demonstration program or down the line, are we going to see Sikorsky's in an X2 format? This is absolutely a demonstration aircraft. Uh, to be perfectly frank, we don't know what this aircraft is capable of doing and whether or not we'll achieve all the performance goals that we have in mind for it. Right now, analytically, we feel very good about what the numbers are showing and with the ground testing that we've done so far and the lab testing that we've done so far, everything's looking good. But we won't know, obviously, until we get it into the air. And that's the purpose of this aircraft is expand the flight test envelope explore those limits, and when we've matured the technology, then seriously explore what we could do for a product. What's the test program look like from here? As I understand, you could be flying in as little as a month? Well, without giving specific time frames, <laughs> uh, as you mentioned earlier, we did bring the aircraft here in the middle of ground test. Uh, if you were to go back and take a look at the exhaust, you'd see there's carbon on the exhaust. We've got engine for time on this. <laughs> uh, we have a number of ground tests still planned that we have to work our way through. We have uh, blades on runs that we Good need morning, to do. We gentlemen. have final Thank integration to do on the fly-by-wire system. system. The booth, and so then we know that will be good for first flight. So until we feel that we are ready to do that, we're not going to fly. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Can you talk a little bit about the parameters of the test program? I understand that, that a vehicle as fresh as this today, could go virtually now, anywhere, but what kind of things are you going to be looking at? What kind of uh, parameters are you uh, going to be trying to configure the aircraft for? And, and ultimately, how long a program is this? How long will you be working with this vehicle? Uh, we anticipate completing our flight test expansion program through sometime next year. Uh, that still will only have used up roughly a quarter of the flight time that we've designed the aircraft for. It is an engineering asset, as I mentioned earlier, and that means that then it becomes a vehicle in which we can continue to advance the state of the art for X2 technology. Uh, uh, engineering, as well as use it as a test vehicle for other helicopter-related technologies. I have to bring up this comparison because obviously to a certain extent 
you're kind of working in the same regime. One of the one of the things a competitor has done to try to improve the overall envelope of the machine is go to tilt rotor technology. Well, this kind of throws out the whole concept of tilt rotor, but still gives you the speed on the top end that you're looking for. Where do you see the advantages to this platform versus tilt rotor technologies? I think they really evolve from two very different approaches to an aircraft that can take off and land vertically and go high speed. We began with the idea that a helicopter has performance benefits that make them so useful for so many missions today. Whereas instead of it being a fixed wing aircraft that takes off and land first, takes off and lands vertically, this is in fact a helicopter that can go fast. So it's really been our focus in the design of the rotor system and all the other elements in the flight controls to make sure that those favorable attributes are not lost. It can auto-rotate. It has very low disc load. It can <laughs> fly nap of the earth, conceivably. But, uh, very, so very those things that we enjoy really for a multitude of missions in helicopters, we'll be able to do with X2 technology. Well, oh, Peter, we sure appreciate your time, but I have to tell you, out of all the machines we've seen here at the show, this is, this is the one I'd really like to get my hands on. This is, uh, this is very exciting stuff. Now you see it that way. We think it's a pretty sexy machine, and I know we had uh, a lot of hand churning behind bringing the aircraft here. We're really excited about the response that we've seen. Of course, we're also very excited about getting the aircraft back up to Schweitzer and getting it back into ground test and ultimately getting into into the air. There's an excellent team there that's been working this program for some time. They want to get it back in their hands. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.